Hi everyone, welcome to Lared Edu Solutions where we give you quality tutorials so that you can have the best of results in your examinations. Now today we want to focus on the best way of preparing for alternative to practical questions, uh, specifically in data processing in your West African Senior Secondary School Certificate Examination WASC. So in your data processing exam paper 2, Paper 2 will be combining the theory, which is section A, and the section B, which is a um, test of practical. Well, the test of practical in Y for data processing is not something to be done on the computer. It is an alternative to practical, so it is going to be answered on the sheet of paper. And if you don't have a good knowledge of how to undo this, you are going to have a, good, a big challenge in having a good result in that section of your examination. And if you can have a good result in alternative to practical and theory, I'm telling you, nothing will stop you from having A1 in your data processing examination. You just need to put a little more effort in the objective. And most of the time, objective is not that technical if you have really read and read well. There are some hints I'll be sharing with you today that will really help you to learn how to handle this alternative to practical question in data processing. If you can adhere to this int, you are going to be very fine and you have an excellent result. Now let's kick off int number one. Know much about the computer shortcut keys. Try to know much about the computer shortcut keys. There are general shortcut keys and there are specific shortcut keys. General shortcut keys, for example, we have Ctrl P, which is uh, for print, Ctrl C, which is for copy. This can work across several applications. That is why I call it general shortcut keys. And we have application specific shortcut keys, for example, Ctrl plus M, which means new slide in Microsoft PowerPoint. So you must get yourself acquainted to different shortcut keys. And how can you do this? You can either go online and download a list of shortcut keys for all applications by searching Google on the internet or you can send us an email at landredsolutions at gmail.com so that we can send you a list of shortcut keys which will help you to scale through in your examination. Now number two, know much about the computer hardware. That is int number two. Try to know the names of computer hardware the general functions, their parts, and the functions of the different parts of each of these hardware um, devices you are you know. Now let me let's look at an example. This this diagram you are looking at is being drawn out from one of the past questions, and they are expecting the candidates to name the device name the label path and also name the functions of the label path. So if you don't know much about hardware components and all you know is just the, te the theory part of your, of, of, your, of your work or of your subject, you are going to have a big challenge here. So and let's, let's attempt to undo this or answer this question or answer some questions. Let's look at some few points about this device. One is that the, name, the general name or the name of the device is a printer. The general function of the device, it is an output device for producing computer outputs in hard copy form. In hard copy form. Now let's look at the label parts of this device. Label Roman figure one is the paper tray. Label two is the printer USB cord. Label three is the print printout. Label four is the power button. Label five is the power cable. Now let's talk about the functions of the label part. For paper tray, it is used for loading paper for printout. Then there's a printer USB cord. That one is used for connecting your printer to the computer so that your printer can receive data or information from the computer. Then number three is printout. The printout is the paper that has been printed upon by your printer, ready to be used by the computer user. Then number four is power button. This helps you to power on and power off your printer. Number five is the power cable that helps you to connect your printer to an AC outlet. This is another um, diagram I pulled out from uh, one of the Y pass questions. I also want you to look 
I want us to look at this. Look at, for instance, look at this diagram. If you don't have a good knowledge about computer hardware, you have a challenge dealing with questions about this diagram. This diagram, they have been, you have been expected to name the uh, labeled computer hardware. Now, label A is a finger print scanner. Label B is a mouse. Label C is a computer, is a laptop computer. Label D is a flash drive. So, and also let's talk about the functions of the label part. Lab the fingerprint scanner helps you to scan your fingerprints into the computer system. It is an input device. The mouse sends, helps you to send control signals into your computer system. It is an input device. The laptop helps you to process data into information. It carries out computing function. The flash drive is a storage device that helps you to store your data and information either for a short or a long time. Now let's take one more question on the computer hardware. I was also able to draw out this diagram from one of the past questions. Name the label parts of the diagram and also for you to give their function. Now let's start by talking about the general outlook of the diagram. This is a complete set of a desktop computer system. Now let's talk about the label parts. The label 1 is monitor, label 2 is keyboard, label 3 is the system unit, label 4 is the speaker, label 5 is the mouse, label 6 is the socket, label 7 is cloud storage and or internet, label 8 is printer. Now let's talk about the functions of the label parts. Um, function of monitor. Monitor is an, out, is an output device and the function is to produce a soft copy of computer output. The keyboard is an input device. The function is to send in characters, alphabetic, numeric, and also control signals into the computer system. The system unit is a box that comprises of the motherboard and some components attached to it enclosed. And this enclosure the function is to process data into information into information then we have the speaker the speaker is an output device that produces audio output from your computer system either as sound music or spoken text the mouse is an input device that sends control signal into your computer system the socket is used to connect your printer to an AC outlet, the cloud storage or internet is used to save data online or to connect your computer to the internet. Then number eight is the printer. The printer is an output device that brings out the hard copy of information from the computer system. Now let's move on to int number three. In number three, no more much about a computer application software. Try to know much about computer application software. Now the five list of software I've, I'm showing you on the screen, word processing which is Microsoft Word, Microsoft Excel, Microsoft PowerPoint, Microsoft Access and uh, CorelDRAW. These are the five sub softwares that we use in training students for their WIAC examination. And you must know much about this software. Now what are the things you are supposed to know about the software? One, you need to have a practical knowledge of the software. Practical knowledge is highly required because if you can work on it practically, it will be easier for you to answer questions on it. So you want to seek, you must seek for practical knowledge of each of these software. Then number two, knowledge of application user interface or application environment. This means that you must understand the interface of each of these um, application environments. So you must understand it. What does this stand for and what is the function of each of the application interface environment? This will really help you because at times questions are brought on this. Now let's take a for instance, look at this um, picture you are seeing on your screen. This is an application interface and I, I was able to bring this out of one of the wire questions. And for someone that is not used to application interface, might have a big time or a big problem handling any question that concerns this. This is a Microsoft Excel um, application interface and that, that software itself is a spreadsheet software for arranging data in rows and columns and for carrying out calculations or anything that has to deal with much of calculation. So you must understand not only the interface or the function of the software, each of the parts. 
where my mouse is, is the title bar containing the name of the package and the, and the name of the file book one then here I have the quick access bar containing some few icons like save like undo like redo here I have the control button close maximize and minimize here I have the uh, file the menu bar which contains tabs like home insert page layout formula data review view developer acrobat team then I have command groups under each of the tabs clipboard is a command group font this is a command group for font this command group helps you to deal with alignment this command group helps you to deal with numbers this command groups helps you to deal with styles this command groups helps you to deal with cells this command groups group helps you to deal with editing this is the formula bar where any formula imputed into the cell or any the content of the cell is displayed this is the name box where the name of any cell that is selected is displayed if you look at this here the selection the active cell is this cell and is under the column i and row 16 and if you look at the the name box you are having i16 because the name of a cell is a combination of the column name and the row name so you need to understand all these facts so that when questions are brought out from application interface it will be easier for you to, to understand then there is another example here I also brought this out of one of our past question then this is a computer browser it's a computer browser because if you look at the environment very if you are familiar with computer browser you can see that this is a computer browser so additionally to those five um, application software you need to also know about browser try to learn about internet browsers and their examples an internet browser is a software that helps you to access the internet examples of internet browser mozilla firefox internet explorer microsoft edge um, Google Chrome and so on there are many so try to learn the examples try to understand the interface you can see this is a Microsoft this is a, an internet browser here the label part here label high is the address bar label II is the back button that button is what takes you to the previous web page the address bar here helps you to enter the website address then label 3 is refresh helps you to reload a current web page level 4 here is home it takes you to the default page of the browser so if you are not familiar with the interface i'm telling you it's going to be a big challenge handling questions on software interface now let's move on under int3 apart from knowing the knowledge, having the knowledge of the interface you must also learn you can learn more about the application environment by pointing your mouse at each of the icon when you point your mouse at each of the icon it gives you the name of that icon it also gives you the function of the icon now just check out let's look at this I'm pointing now at the format painter is and this is a Microsoft Word environment is showing me the name the f the shortcut key and the function pointing at underline the U uh, icon you can see that pointing at the A icon showing me the function the shortcut and the name now you can do this for different tabs and I mean different command buttons under each of the tabs to understand their function so that you can know what those things are meant to do now after getting the names and the function and the shortcut keys of each of the icon you can make sure that you highlight a text or select an object before you apply the function or before you apply that icon to do anything for you when you select a text or object it helps your it helps you that would because if you don't select any text or object I'm telling you just clicking the icon without any selection is not going to do anything and you might feel that the icon is not working whereby you are the one that have not selected anything that the icon could work on so that is it about that then in under in number three after you have been able to learn more about each of the icon another thing you are supposed to do is be able to list you must be able to list or describe the procedure for carrying out computer operations under each application software now how do you do this there are some questions that we warrant you to list procedures like for instance what is the procedure for typing a letter in Microsoft Word you know or what is the procedure for bolding a text 
uh, uh, that and those ones are even still on a lighter mode. Let's consider a question like this. This question was extracted from data processing paper two, uh, West African Senior Secondary Certificate Examination 2017. Let's look at this question. A teacher was asked. A teacher asked a student to capture and print out one slide presentation assignment using Microsoft Word showing everything on the screen. What keys or combination of keys can be used to carry out this function? This number one question will be solved. You'll find it easy tackling number one question if you know much about shortcut keys and that was int one. That was the first thing I told you. Then number two, describe the procedure to be followed by the student in carrying out this assignment using the keyboard. Now this is talking about procedure. You have to describe a procedure. So in order to be able to do that, you must know how to carry it out practically. If you know how to carry a procedure out practically, then from your practical knowledge, you can now begin to highlight the steps that, is, that are involved in carrying out that procedure. That is why I said you must be able to learn. You must learn how to write out procedures. So you can sit back on your own and look at different functions that can be done in an application environment and just try to highlight some procedures on your paper, on your jotter, in a way of preparing for the examination. That will really go a long way in helping you with your preparation. Then apart from this, another hint I'm going to give, which might be the last hint, is that you must know the examples of the following types of application software, word processing, graphics, spreadsheets, database, presentation, and browser. Very, very important. These six softwares, you'll be having questions on them from time to time in alternatives or practical. So try to know their examples because questions come out on them every year. It may not be on all of them, but at least one or two or three of them. So try to get to know the examples of these types of software. Now let's consider this question that was extracted from data processing paper 2, YA, I mean YA 2017. The system analyst was hired to set up a computer laboratory for both Fair International School. Question 1 says, mention three hardware devices the analyst would need to set up the laboratory. If you have a good knowledge about computer hardware, like I have said in int 2, you'll be able to tackle this first question. Now question number two, list three database application packages likely to be recommended by the analyst. If you have a good knowledge about examples of database applications, like we just said in under in three, you, if you have a good knowledge of database application examples, you'll be able to answer that question. Examples like MySQL, Microsoft Access, SQL Server, and so on. So if you if you are able to get like five or to ten list of examples under each of those applications, to be easier to answer question number two. Question number three is talking about state three word processing packages likely to be installed. All you just need to answer this question is know the examples of word processing packages. If you know the examples of word processing packages, I'm telling you to answer this question will never be a problem. So I, on this mood, I would like to be drawing the curtain. I mean, I'm coming to the end of this video. If you want further assistance on how to tackle or undo data processing, alternative to practical questions, or even more on ob objective questions, on theory questions, you can send me an email at landredsolutions at gmail.com or you can visit my blog at Lanret Edu Solutions uh, blogspot.com as displayed on your screen. You will get different text files there and sol of solutions and I mean questions and solutions to different um, past questions from NECO on WAEC on different subjects. This is where I'll be ending the video. Thank you very much for watching. Bye bye.